morning guys power GPU here um, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to overclock the i7 4770k in my mini ITX build with the gigabyte Z87 and Wi-Fi motherboard and the main reason why I'm doing this video is because I actually looked online couldn't find any videos on this uh, motherboard with this processor couldn't find any reviews on how to overclock it couldn't find nothing uh, so let's get into it real quick <coughs> It's actually pretty easy as far as the overclocking goes in this uh, board and in the processor. So literally you have a tab here where it says CPU upgrade. You select the frequency you want. You can do it manually as well, uh, right here with the CPU ratio. Um, I set mine to 4.5. I did a lot of testing with it, which keep in mind, um, everyone's processor is going to be different. So yours might not be able to achieve 4.5 at the voltage I have it at. It might be higher. Um, it might be lower. You never know. Which I know the... If you could get a processor at 4.5, at I think it was under 1.3 volts on the 4770K, you have a good processor, which in my case I did, luckily. All right, so once you set that up, um, of course you got to change your frequency and your memory as well. Uh, it's linked up together. I put mine at 1600, which is to me I've always overclocked my processor and always had my pro my RAM at 1600 at 4.5. So that's that's and I have the Corsair Dominator Platinum, 8 gigs of RAM. Let's get into the settings of the processor as well which this is where people mess up on a lot so as you can see here the C, C1E disabled, C3 state, C6, C7 um, all that's disabled and what you want you want to disable that if you leave that on it's gonna fluctuate on your voltage uh, your frequency and it's you're gonna get a lot of blue screens down the road because it's gonna it, what that's pretty much doing is when you disable this it's going to be constantly running your CPU at 1.25 volts, which actually, let me show you real quick. In my case, I have, well, hold on, let's still finish with this. So we disable all that. You want to disable Turbo Boost as well. Uh, turbo Boost is a no-go when you have it overclocked. That's always not a good thing. You can leave PLL level auto, CPU, PLL selection auto. Um, you can leave all that on auto there. Uh, Hyper-threading, you know, that's up to you if you want to leave it on or not. Uh, so let's go to memory real quick. So like I said, I have mine at 1600. Uh, I've left it at the default voltage, haven't touched that. So it's it's automatically adjusted itself. When you go into voltage tab, you have to go into uh, CPU core voltage controller. Go there and as you can see the V core, I have that set to 1.260. So that's the voltage I got mine up to at 4.5. I did a Prime 95 run for about 12 hours. Um, had no issues on it and I did not delude this processor either. I normally do, but I did not. So it's actually come out pretty good there. So let me go back to um, frequencies here real quick. No, what was it? I don't know, it was under home, performance. Yeah, so it shows here the V core as well. 1.26 on the CPU. So you could actually change it here if you wanted to. I just decided I wanted, I wanted to go into everything manually. The other thing I was going to show you was the... Let's see here. Actually, no, that's pretty much it. Nothing else. This BIOS is pretty basic. Nothing crazy. But yeah, so that's a 4.5. Let's go into boot into Windows real quick to show you. Let's exit. Exit without saving since I've left it at stock. Or not stock, since I've left it at the settings I had it at. Alright, so let's go into here. Alright, CPU hardware monitor. CPU ID. All right, so as you can see, it's it's at idle right now. 41, 42, 40 Celsius around there, and then see how it says 4.5 right here, and then 1.258 volts, so pretty much 1.26 volts. So it stays at that constantly, it doesn't fluctuate. If you were to have all the C1 states on all that, this would go down to like 1.5 and this voltage would fluctuate as well, down to like 1.01 .01 or something, which you don't want that happening. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Wanted to show you that. This is my 24-7 setup for the uh, processor itself. 
Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, just leave the comments at the bottom or send me a message. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. PowerGPU signing out. See ya.